My name is Lizzie. Each week I'm bringing along a different origami fold to encourage you to take some time out for yourself. And origami is a beautiful way to just focus the mind on doing something that's very beautiful and orderly and full of meaning. And you will find delight in taking a flat little piece of paper and turning it into something special. And uh, all of these films are dedicated to my colleagues at UCH, our hospital in London, uh, for colleagues, for staff and for patients, of course. But these films are for everybody and it's lovely to feel that people across the world have been joining us in folding. And I hope it's doing you some good over this time. I think we've all been very aware of mental of our mental health over this time and the need to look after ourselves. So this is a good way of just getting lost, absorbed, forgetting everything, giving yourself that little break and doing something that will give you joy and maybe you could make presents for others as well. So this week I'm bringing along, I think, a gorgeous fold. It's a traditional fold, so this is from Japan. Uh, it's a butterfly. I know I have shown you a butterfly before, but it's different. So the previous one was from someone called Akira Yoshizawa, who is seen as the grandfather of, of or modern origami and is totally beautiful. This one is actually the traditional butterfly and so rather interesting uh, to compare and in some ways this is more complicated than Akira's um, model that he came up with. Uh, but this has some real beauty and I've only just discovered it really. Um, I like how it's quite sort of flat so it feels like you want to stick this on a card or decorations and yes it's got a real life to it as well. So I hope you're going to enjoy this. I actually learned this from a lovely book from Peter um, Buchan Simmons and this lovely book, Easy Springtime Origami. And it's in there. It's a traditional fold, but it's really helped me to get going on this traditional fold I haven't done before. So it's lovely to think this has come from Japan. I hope you're going to enjoy this. So grab yourself some paper and a board and... You could, if you wanted to, even do a little bit of quick colouring in. I do love to see how it's transformed. So I have got here now a piece of A4 paper. I am simply going to fold it in half to make A5. If you've got letter, that's absolutely fine. Same, same principle, same idea. It's not about exact sizes. So I'm simply folding it in half. I've done a good, strong crease. It's the crease that lets you relax. Let's have a little bit of tension and you feel that little bit better. Being nice and exact. Little tear. And enjoy a bit of ripping as well. Keeping your hand nice and close to the edge. I love that we can do all of this without any scissors even. Just your hands and paper. So I'm going to take a corner. I'm going to make it myself a square first of all. Take the corner. Line it up nicely. Like so. Through the corner there. And I'm going to get rid of this rectangle, so I'm going to turn it over, lift up this corner, and squash it down like so. There we go. Good strong fold. And then you should again be able to do a little tiny nick. The beauty of the video is you can play it whenever you want. You can even change the speed, you could slow this down, you could pause, you could go back. So you will definitely be able to get there. Right, I am going to give it a quick little, quick little bit of colour, I think. Um, I really, this fold, it's almost a bit summery, but you know, it's just spring at the moment. And it's lovely to feel that better times will come. So I thought this would be a lovely one to share at this point. It's kind of looking forward to the year ahead. I'm just, just doing some very quick, quick marks and patterns. We can use plain paper, whatever you feel like. It's all good. Right, so if you have pattern paper, turn it to the right side. And we're going to simply fold it in half to make a rectangle. So I'm folding it in half. And then opening it up. And then I'm going to do the other line as well so I'm just turning it around so we've divided it into quarters there there we go so next we're going to take the top and we're going to fold it to the middle line but just just at the top for now like so 
And I'm going to do the same at the bottom. So the bottom to the top. I found this a very relaxing fold. You'll see. So here we go. It's closed. It's like a little cupboard at the moment on its side. I'm going to take one corner and I'm going to fold it to that middle line. Like so. And then I'm going to do the same for the bottom corner. I'll take that corner and fold it up like so. And then the other corners doing the same. Okay, so it's actually a really bright morning today. So the light's really quite bright. Makes a change. It's been very dark recently. But probably the lights don't look quite so pretty without the, the darkness, funnily enough. Right, so next I'm going to open up these corners. And what I want to do is I want to tuck these corners in. So I'm going to take each one of these and I guess I'm opening up and I'm just pushing it in where it would naturally go, like so. So we can do that on each of the sides. So I'm opening this up, going to the side, and I'm going to just push that in, tuck it inwards. So we're not adding any extra lines, a little bit of playing around there. So there we go. Making sure that you're carefully following the lines. I can see it's gone there. There we go. Piece of your paper as you can refold it to your happy. So again, it's the idea is opening them up and tucking it into itself. So I am going to push this into itself. It's probably a bit difficult to see, isn't it? There we go. I'm pushing it into itself like so. And the same with this one. I'm going to push it into itself. Great. So it should be looking like this. Our next step now is to turn it over. And we're going to take the bit that sticks out the ends of this triangle and folding it back like so. Adding that little line there. Same with this one. That's it. Lovely. And a bit like the last step, we're going to open this up so we can push it in. So we're going to open this up and we're actually going to push all of this in. So I'm pushing all of this area in. Again, I'm not adding any extra lines. I found it quite relaxing, this folding and then opening up. So just enjoy the lines that you've made and how you can change it. All about transformation origami how you can take something it can change so again this needs to go inside so to do that i am opening this up and i'm just reversing that direction so i'm pushing that in along the line that i've already made and then you should be able to there's probably many ways to do the same thing actually there always is an origami but you tend to learn your little your little journey and then you often stick to that. That's it. Great. So our next step is we're going to now turn over. You can see like that. It's sort of open there. And I just want you to fold it back. There we go. It's looking like a bit of a boat, isn't it? That's it. Right, you'll see very soon it's going to become a butterfly. So we're going to take this one side and just fold it down. There we go. Making sure it's nice and vertical there. And then the same with the other one. Folding that down. Now it's looking like a butterfly, but it doesn't look that 3D. And it definitely could look more interesting. It looks a bit square too, doesn't it? So our next step is we're going to take these little sides and I'm going to add a little line there. So I'm going to take this and I'm folding it in and I'm going to press this down and it will make a little triangle at the top. She says, I think I need to do it with it on the surface actually. So I am adding a line there. So I'm adding a line there 
and at the same time I'm then gonna squash that down so it was closed like this and I'm adding a line there and at the same time I'm going to put my finger in there I'm then gonna squash that down in the middle like so and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side so I'm going to add a little line there so I'm opening up this pocket and I am oh, I'm gonna simply fold that back in a straight line and at the same time I'm then going to squash that down to make a nice little nice little triangle like so so it should be looking like this you won't actually see this side which probably is a good news isn't it because <laughs> it may not be perfect and that's fine so our next step is to take this and simply fold it inwards like so we're now on the outside of the butterfly which is the side that we'll see and we're just going to do a little fold from there up to there as a sort of triangle shape just to give it a bit of a body so i'm going to fold it from there to there about that it will probably just naturally go you see so i fold it there to there and i want to do the same on the other side oh i'm doing the same thing there and hopefully that should be it so it's quite it's quite simple but it's got a real power to it. it really feels like it can fly off as well doesn't it and you can see it would also be quite good to stick on a card because you could easily glue on these areas um and stick it on but this is a traditional origami butterfly from japan i hope you've enjoyed that i hope it gives you that feeling of freedom and delight that spring summer good things are coming Thank you very much. I'll be sharing as well as live folds most Wednesdays at two as well. Thank you.